Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install Cheat Engine onto your Steam Deck Steam OS, okay? So if Trainers is not enough for you, you want to cheat more on your games, this is the program for you. If you like this kind of stuff, if you like gaming handhelds, especially the Steam Deck, uh, we talk a lot about emulation, mods, cheats, trainers, stuff like that, and how to install Windows games onto your Steam OS. If that's your thing, please leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, all right? So also, I've got one more favor to ask you. All right, I've got a brand new secondary channel called Grown Up Cooking. All right, I've only got 32 subscribers. I need more. So please go and over there and subscribe. Cooking is another passion of mine other than gaming. So I'm going to share with you some of my cooking recipes. You know, just have some fun over there. All right, so yeah, please go over there and subscribe. I'll leave a link for this channel in the description. All right, so yeah, without further ado, let's just get started. First thing you need cheatengine.org go here all right i'll leave a link in the description download cheat engine the installer so click this green button and it'll download all right so once you've got that downloaded you also need a few apps in your steam deck so go over to the discover software center all right click that the shopping bag and then on the top left the search bar you type proton okay so you need proton up qt all right that's the app with the green arrow up icon this one and then you also need this proton tricks all right this is the wine glass icon all right get both of those installed and then search for lutris all right so this orange beaver thing also install this okay so once you've got these three apps installed and you've got the cheat engine installer downloaded we're ready to start okay so open up your steam library all right and let's say i want to Cheat this pro uh, this game, not a program, this game. Heroes Adventure, all right? This is a really good um, Chinese wuxia open world RPG, all right? It's pixel art. It's really good, all right? You can go download this if you want. It's a good game. Uh, there's English translation, all right? So let's say I want to cheat this, all right? I need to know where this game, the prefix folder is, all right? Because um, it's running on a prefix folder. Um, if you don't know what prefix folder is, it's basically like a virtual machine. It's a, like a contained Windows environment that runs this Windows games on your Linux operating system. All right. So how do we find it? All right. Open up Proton Tricks. All right. And then you should see your like your games on your Steam. So you can see my Steam games here. I've got some non-Steam games. And at the bottom here, it's a Chinese name. It's actually this game. So this game is uh, in this prefix folder. So it's got a number 1948980. This should be the like theme ID, this number. Okay, so let's find it. Open up your Dolphin or your Game Explorer or File Explorer thing. Go to Home. All right, make sure you click the three lines here and show hidden files. This is checked. All right, go inside the folder, like hidden folder dot Steam. Theme. And then steam apps compact data all right and then the number all right so one nine four eight nine eight zero so this one all right and pfx this is the prefix folder all right so if you go into drive c this is it's like a windows environment you can see program files windows users stuff like that right all right so this is the prefix folder we need to know this all right so we're going to install cheat engine inside this prefix folder all right because that's how it manages the game Right, it needs to be inside the same prefix folder. And how do we do that? Okay, open up Lutris. Okay, so I did do a trial. So let me just remove the cheat engine I already have here because I did a test run before filming. Okay, make sure things work. Okay, so when you're inside the Lutris, go to the top left, the plus button, add game, click on it, then add locally installed game. All right, and then just give it a name. I'm going to call it Cheat Engine, very original. All right, and then under Runner, okay, select Wine, runs Windows games, okay? And then Game Options, all right, Executable, Browse, locate the executable we downloaded, all right? So that's Cheat Happens 75.exe. This is the installer file for Cheat Happens, all right? So select that. And then this is where we need to put the Wine prefix, all right? So we're going to install it inside this prefix folder. That's why I'm going to copy its path. Okay, and then I'm just going to put it here, paste. So that's why I'm going to install it inside this prefix folder, all right? 
runner options i don't think this really matters wine version just i'm just gonna keep it at default so it's at wine ge825 x8664 i think any wine ge works but yeah just keep it at this one default okay and then click click save okay now we've got a cheat engine here run it because we want to install it okay so we're running the installer okay okay so english just wait for it be patient okay so welcome to cheat engine installer click next i'm not going to install any optional stuff so just skip all okay just wait for it to download and install shouldn't take too long installing product please wait Okay, should be any minute soon. Now. Nope, not yet. <laughs> Gotta wait. Be patient, don't panic. Okay, now it's done. I'm going to uncheck this launch the application on exit because I don't want to launch it yet. To finish. And that's basically it with Lutris. We're not going to run Cheat Engine inside Lutris, all right? Because we're going to run it with another program called Steam Tinker Launch, all right? And how do you get that? All right, so... Open up Proton Up QT that we downloaded at the very start. Okay. And once this is loaded, make sure it's installed for, for Steam. Okay. And then click here, add version. And then under compatibility tool, select Steam Tinker Launch. And as of recording, the latest version is 12.12. .12, all right. And then just click install here. I already have it, so I'm not going to install it again. So yeah. So once you've got that, you probably need to restart Steam, all right, for it to work, all right, because once we're in here, we go to its properties, so the game, properties, compatibility, force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool, all right, and we're going to select Steam Tinker Launch. If you can't find Steam Tinker Launch here, even though you've installed it with Proton UpQt, you probably need to restart Steam for it to kick in, okay? So once that's done, we can play. And you can see Steam Tinker Launch is loading right on the bottom right. You can see it's... And we have a two-second window to go into its main menu to do the settings. If you miss that, you'd have to like stop stop it and like rerun the game. So make sure it's over here. All right, so you have two seconds to click this main menu. All right, else if you don't click it, the game just runs with its normal settings. All right. And then here we're going to change the settings of the game menu. So click here, game menu. Okay. All right. And then make sure you have this toggled on. Use custom command. All right. Toggle this on. And also fork custom command. All right. Make sure these two are checked. And then here you need to select the cheat engine. Um, cheat engine. Uh, exe that we installed all right so how do you find that all right so it's just the same so go to home okay and then dot steam steam all right and then theme apps if we can find it i oh, hear it is theme apps okay compact data all right and if you forgot the number go back to proton tricks check it one nine four eight nine eight zero all right so this one and then inside the prefix folder if you remember we installed cheat habits onto the c drive program files cheat engine 7.5 and there's an exe here we want to use cheat engine hyphen x86 underscore 64.exe all right so this one double click it we're going to run this all right so when we launch this launch the game it actually forks a command to run cheat engine as well so we're running the game and cheat engine at the same time that's what we want and so now click save and play okay, we can minimize proton tricks we don't really need it anymore all right so it's launching the game and it's also here forking the cheat engine program okay 
Let's wait for it to load. Okay, so the game's loaded and you can see Cheat Engine is booted up. So when you first start up, there's a, a setup. All right, I'm just going to click OK. And let me see, is there anything else? I think I've got two. Okay, that's good. I think we're good. Okay, so the game's loaded. All right, let me just load into the game first before I do anything with Cheat Engine. So I'm just going to boot into this game. Um, okay, so this is Cheat Engine. All right, so you click this. All right, you click this. And this like locates the processes. So you see I've got like this game running as well. So I want to select this. So double click the game. All right. And okay, so this is the pixel art game I was talking about. It's really good. If you like JR, uh, like, yeah, like a, uh, it's, what is it? It's an RPG game. And the combat is like strategy RPG, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. This is my pet. Okay. So let me, like, let's say this is feed. All right. Feed it. So you can see this is like horse meat. All right. So I've got 22 of these horse meat. Okay. So let's say I want more of this, all right? I want to find this variable and change it. I want to be like 100 of these, all right? So 22. So I've selected the game. So now I enter 22 in the value and then I click here, first scan. And it has so many variables, all right? So I don't know which variable I should change to change that, all right? I'm not going to do it individually and test it out. So what I do is I, like, I feed it to my pet. So now I've got 21, right? Now I enter the value 21 and then next scan. All right. All right. See how it found the, uh, the variable. So this address is the variable for where my, I'm pretty sure this is where my horse meat is. Okay. So if I double click it and then here on the value, I double click the value. All right. Let me change it to 100. Okay. All right. So I go back to my game. It's not reflected yet, but if I press it again, you can see 99. Yeah, because I just fed it one. But from 100, I fed it one. So that's why I changed to 99. All right. So I just keep feeding it. All right. Yeah, that's how this how like how cheat engine works. So yeah, that's basically it. That's basically it. Right, let me just quit out of the game. Quit off cheat engine. Yep. All right. That's it. So. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any like questions, queries, problems, uh, let me know in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.